Peace forever and always. This is your brother Taliki Mira, and welcome once again to another edition <laughs> of the Realities Temple on Earth. On Earth. And I am uh, I'm the Angel Snuffed Up Seven, your brother. Talik Ibn Ra, uh, not only your brother, hopefully your friend. I hope that your day is a, has been uh, well. I hope that your life has been well. You better, you're doing better than me because my life has not been well. Somebody always got to mess with you. I don't care how good you try to be. I don't care how out upright you try to be. Matter of fact, the more upright you try to be, the more forces come to action. Y'all people who are who are trying to be real Christians, real Muslims, real believers in God, y'all know how it is. Trying to live a righteous life. You're always being tested. Always. Somebody always got to bother you. And you know, especially when you tell them that you're trying to live a righteous life, you're trying to walk the straight path, here comes somebody to mess with your peace. Somebody got to mess with you. I want to talk about slavery for a second. What brings me to this subject matter and for the first time, this video should be pretty quick. <laughs> I always say that, don't I? It should be. It should be quick. But many people, I've been receiving emails, and what has been told to me, basically, in the emails, is that if I'm going to blame white people for slavery, we should also mention that Africans had slavery. They sold our people into slavery. All those who participated in the slave trade. Good point. This is what I want to say to you. If you and I robbed a bank together, we're doing the same thing. We're robbing a bank. Just so happened, you get caught. I don't. You go to the police station. They don't know who your partner is. So you're angry because you got caught. I didn't get caught. I'm somewhere enjoying what I stole. You don't like it because you got to take all this heat because you got caught. So in order to take some of the pressure off you, in order to make a deal, you decide to rat me out. Thus the old saying, there is no honor among thieves. So here we are, we have the children of those who enslaved my people. You benefit from what your father's done, but you can't take the heat when somebody points the finger about what was done. And the sad thing about it is that there has been no remorse. You have done nothing in order to heal the wound that your forefathers caused. Because you enjoy having more and being better and being over the children of the, of the slave that your forefathers had control over. So in order to get the pressure off, you write me an email talking about if you don't talk about slavery, just don't blame the white man. 
Don't blame the white man. It's a whole lot of other people that did that. You snitch. You rat. That's corny in itself. Be a man. You always talk about somebody. Be a man. Be a man and stand up and handle your business. On top of that, yes, Africans participated in the slave trade. If it was not for Africans, it could not have been done. Arabs participated in the slave trade. Jews participated in the slave trade. Her problem is with the American government. Because when you bought slaves from those Africans, or when you purchased slaves via Jews and Arabs, you could have brought them here and freed them and been nice to them. But you didn't. You brought them in order to exploit their talents and make them perform manual physical labor from sun up to sundown. That's what you've done. I'm not a slave. I'm not a child from a slave in Africa. I'm not a slave, a child from a slave from nowhere else but here. So I'm going to talk to you about, talk to you about what's happening here. I don't have no concern. Sooner or later, just like you, but see y'all number one, ain't nobody had slavery like the United States of America. Nobody. In the history of slavery. You turn a whole nation of people into animals. Then you set them free and gave them nothing. And then in 2009, you got the nerve to come back and complain about what y'all made. If you don't like these niggas or these Negroes or color or whatever you want to call us in America, if y'all are racist Caucasian who benefit from slavery, if y'all don't like us, then blame your forefathers for bringing these slaves over here to begin with. And if you don't like black people, the Negro, the color, whatever you want to call us, the niggas, however you want to call it, you don't like us, then you don't like your own handiwork. Because once our ancestors, once those primary black people that came to these shores, they were not allowed to teach their black children. So who was their teacher? If I'm a murderer, who taught me how to murder? You did. If I'm a drug dealer, who taught me how to be a drug dealer? You did. If I don't take care of my children, who taught me how not to do that? You did. We don't have no other examples. You are our example. You are our teacher. You are the black man. You are the, in this country, you are the Negroes, the colored man's mama. And we still depend on you. And you still are our example. You're not my example. Because I've grown beyond you. I know who you are. Ye are of your father, the devil, and the works of your father you shall do. I don't expect nothing better, nothing else out of you. But then you have my people who are still mentally dead and asleep who follow your example and copy every damn thing you do. We got our rich brothers and sisters, Oprah, Jay-Z, Beyonce, and many, many others. Their idea of success is what you painted for them to do. So they own the lifestyles of the rich and famous and bragging about material greed. Material greed don't mean nothing to me. I don't follow your example. Because you can give me a million dollars, but a million dollars can't hug me. A million dollars can't love me. Matter of fact, when I, the more money you get, the more problems you get. That's a quote from the notorious B.I.G. And he's right. Materialistic hogs and you greedy. This is what I don't understand. How come it's so great to be rich and successful, but if you're rich and successful eating food and get fat and get obese, we got a big problem. You're overweight. But when you're overweight with money and you're obese with greed, that's all right. You already got 
more wealth than you can spend in a lifetime, and you want more and more. That's what got Martha Stewart in trouble. She was already a millionaire, but she wanted more. But ain't nothing wrong with being greedy like that. Y'all, rats and snitch. Want to snitch somebody else out because you all caught up. Because you want to enjoy what you stole, and then you got people like me that's willing to call you on yours. And you want to point the fingers at somebody else, you little rat snitch. Get the hell out of here. This is your brother, Talik, even Rod Dang. Time to run. This wasn't. <laughs> This wasn't his reality's temple on earth. Don't bring that garbage to me. I ain't one of your boys. Peace.